Agent Emily, we just got an urgent call. The President of the United States is dead. He's been assassinated. What? Who did it? That's what we have to figure out. The Vice President was the last person to see him alive. Well, I think we can use the 12th and 22nd Amendment to solve this case. I know all about the 22nd Amendment, but can you help me decipher the 12th? Why was it even created in the first place? In the election of 1800, Thomas Jefferson tied with his running mate, who was supposed to be his vice president, Aaron Burr. Before the 12th Amendment, the president was the person who won the most votes, and then the runner-up was the vice president. So you could have a president and a vice president from different parties. So the 12th was created to fix that? Yeah, it was a flawed system because it didn't account for political parties or partisan presidency or vice presidency tickets. Okay, but I'm still confused. How does this help us with this case? Well, it puts the president and the vice president on the ballot together so that a vote for the president is also a vote for his vice president, his chosen running mate. So, like, that takes the president off our suspect list because they're friends, they're from the same party, he chose the vice president. He couldn't have done it. No, wait! Remember what the 22nd Amendment said? It limits the president to only serving two terms, but it also says that if the president is unable to serve, the vice president will take his spot and can serve up to two more terms on his own. That's ten years total if he gets reelected. It's definitely possible that this is the guy who killed the president. And it would make sense because he was in the second half of his term. Yeah, and he was the last person to see the president alive. But let me get one thing straight. Before the 22nd Amendment, there weren't any term limits? Nope. It was actually proposed in 1947 as a result of Franklin D. Roosevelt being re-elected for four terms in office. So, the 22nd and 12th Amendment are essentially just corrections of Article 2 in the Constitution, the executive branch. Exactly. Now let's go get the Vice President in here for questioning. Let's catch our constitutional convict.